All right, another celebrity bourbon, Brothers Bond Bourbon, created by the veteran Vampire Diary stars Ian Summerhalder and Paul Wesley, who played the Salvatore brothers on the long-running CW show, weren't even filming together when they co-founded this whiskey passion project. They worked with MGP in Indiana to craft the blend and choose the barrels for the four-year aging process. Any good? It's What's on the Shelf Wednesday. Welcome to the Mash and Drum. I am Jason C. And this is What's on the Shelf Wednesday, the series where I bring you quick reviews of whiskeys you can actually find on the shelf, including bourbons, rye, scotches, Irish whiskeys, and more. Today, we are tasting another celebrity bourbon that folks may not know is a celebrity bourbon. It's called Brothers Bond. It's 80 proof. Take a look. So actors Paul Wesley and Ian Summerhalder met when they starred in The Vampire Diaries and soon discovered their mutual love of bourbon, which they had transformed into a brother's bond. When The Vampire Diaries first aired in 2009 on the CW channel, it kickstarted a decade-long bond between the supernatural drama's leading actors who played bourbon-loving vampire brothers, Stefan and Damon Salvatore. Now the process of the bourbon took more than a year of blending, morning and night, said Summerhalder. What we were looking for was approachability, complexity and nuance to carry it to the bourbon drinker. So, get a little pour. Now according to the brand, there are early indications that it could become one of the fastest selling bourbons in the US. In the first 60 days of its launch, more than 40,000 cases were shipped. Summerhalder says 5,000 of the 10,000 total sold out in under four hours, while the remaining half was gone after 16. The brand has also racked up an impressive following. The duo says Brothers Bond is the most followed alcohol brand on Instagram with 1.6 million followers to date. My guess is all those followers aren't necessarily following the bourbon itself, but probably just the two guys or the two ex-vampires that started the bourbon. All right, so the resulting product is a four grain high rye bourbon using 65 corn, 22% rye, and a percentage of wheat and barley that has not been disclosed. Aged for a minimum of four years in virgin American oak barrels from MGP in Indiana. It's available in about 27 states, bottled at 80 proof, price 40 bucks. Had no idea it was a celebrity whiskey when I first grabbed it. So somebody told me about it, asked me to do a review. Here it is. You definitely get the youth on the nose. It's very corn and wheat forward. A little bit grassy, very, very sweet. Extremely light vanilla, just a, just a touch of it. I mean, I have very light hint of toffee as well. Let's see if we get some more uh, air in this bourbon here. A little bit more of a dusty corn coming to the forefront, but I really think it's the young weeded bourbon that's in there. Young weeded bourbon just tends to overtake a blend whenever I try it. I've tried blends before, whenever there's a young weeder in the mix, that young weeder just tends to overtake the blend. I mean, it's a high rye, I'm getting a little hint of citrus here, but man, 80 proof, give it a try, here we go. You know what, it's, it's, it's very pleasing on the palate. There's really nothing wrong with it at all. It's just a good, sweet, young bourbon. A lot of vanilla. The citrus I'm getting way more on the palate. Orange zest. A Little bit of lemon, black pepper, right on the very, very end. Again, with more of that citrus kind of in the mix. Slightest hint of cinnamon. I mean, there's like a baked bread note going on too, I think is that, just that young, you know, that young bourbon. You know what, I'm surprised, for an 80 proof whiskey, it's actually got a little bit of, a little bit of kick on the very end. I've tasted other 80 proof bourbons that just don't give you anything on the back end. It's very thin. This has a little bit more complexity to it for an 80 proofer. I mean, uh, you know, for a celebrity whiskey, this profile doesn't surprise me. It's extremely easy to sip. It's not super complex. It's not gonna, you know, burn your palate out at all. Actually, 
I think this would be a good cocktail bourbon. I think there's actually cocktail recipes on the website when I was looking through it that the, the two guys that created this came up with. You know, the more I sip it, the more it's going along the lines of like a sweet tea, like a sweet iced tea type aspect to it. Very sweet, very pleasing, very easy. I would be hard pressed to think of another 80 proof bourbon that brings this kind of, you know, I guess like zing on the, on the end, a little bit of a finish here. All right, before we go through my final thoughts, let's learn about my new sponsor right here on the Mash and Drum, it's Caldera Lab. Caldera Lab creates high performance men's self-care products by combining pharmaceutical grade science, nature's purest and most potent ingredients and sustainable business practices. Today we're talking about Caldera Lab's best-selling product. It's called The Good and it's their award-winning multifunctional serum that's been pretty much breaking the internet. Now for me personally, my skin dries out pretty quick, but since I started using this for about a month, my skin feels smoother, less dry, looks better on camera, and I've even gotten compliments on how good my skin looks from my girlfriend who is very, very focused on skincare herself and wanted to use it. It's actually a really easy way for guys like me to take care of their skin in one easy step. Like I said, this was designed to help address wrinkles, fine lines, uneven skin tone with clinically proven results. GQ Magazine just named it the best natural face serum for men and they have teamed up with NFL legend Tony Gonzalez, that's right, former tight end of my favorite team, the Atlanta Falcons. The Good Multifunctional Serum is made from 27 active plant botanicals infused over four weeks using a patented process which took over two years to develop. All you have to do is use this dropper that's built into this slick looking bottle, put a few drops in your hand, and then put it on your neck and on your face right before bedtime, that's it. Literally brush your teeth, floss, wash your face, then dry your face, and then use this, and that's it. Typically results, they say, come in about 60 days, but I already noticed a big difference in just 30 days. So not only is this helping me look and feel better and feel more confident, Caldera Lab is a company I feel good about supporting. All their products are sustainably sourced and packaged and cruelty free, and they've earned the prestigious B Corp certification. On top of that, they also donate 2% of all their revenue to vetted nonprofit organizations. Everything Caldera Lab makes is 100% non-toxic, vegan, dermatologically tested, and clinically proven to work for all skin types. So if you guys are interested in your skin looking and feeling better, click the link below in the description to get a special discount of 20% off your first bottle or simply use the code Mash and Drum for 20% off at checkout. Again, click the link below in the description to get a special discount of 20% off your first bottle or simply use the code Mash and Drum for 20% off at checkout. Another great thing is that there's no risk in trying this, guys. Every purchase is backed by Caldera Labs 100% money back guarantee. Try it for 60 days. If you don't love it, then you can get a 100% refund, no questions asked. So give it a try, your face will thank you later. I mean, what do you guys expect? It's, it's an 80 proof bourbon. It's not gonna blow your mind. It's very easy sipping. It's exactly what I feel like a celebrity bourbon would be. I would uh, actually probably compare this even to the Terry Bradshaw. The Terry Bradshaw bourbon actually might have a little bit more kick and, and punch than this does, but I can see this as an extremely approachable uh, bourbon. And you know, the two guys that started it for any fans of the show, I could see them, I could see why that this uh, sold out so fast. If those guys were involved, you know, it's okay. I just think for 40 bucks, 40 bucks is a lot to ask for an 80 proof bourbon. I get it's a celebrity whiskey. I get they're buying barrels from MGP. They have to blend them. They gotta make their money somewhere. But man, for $40, there's a lot of great bourbons that you can get for 40 bucks beyond this 80 proofer. But I guess if you're a fan of the show, you're a fan of the guys that started it, uh, or you like something a little bit easier, 80 proof, kind of a sweet tea type vibe to it with lemon, citrus, a little bit of spice, eh. It'll do. All right, guys, well, hope you enjoyed this review on What's on the Shelf Wednesday for Brothers Bond Bourbon. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have had this one yet. Did you try it? Did you like it? Was it underwhelming? Was it surprising for you? Always love hearing from you guys. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey, it's the people you share it with. Cheers. See you next time right here on The Mass and Drum. Take care, everybody.